Hello, everyone. My name is Donald Clip, and I'm the co-founder of Global Mortgage Group. For those of you that are new to GMG, we are an overseas mortgage specialist with particular focus on the U.S. market. We only work with foreign nationals and overseas expats, so we know the best loan options available from our network of banks and lenders. Elsewhere, we're also able to offer mortgages in the UK, Europe, Canada, Australia, Thailand, and Singapore as well. I'm super excited to be here today to speak to all of you about the US mortgage market for foreign nationals, the process involved, and where we see the market heading. First, let's address the major positive news overnight. The Fed reinforced their commitment to support the US economy and asset markets. In the, in the FOMC statement, they noted their plan to keep rates between zero and a quarter percent for the rest of 2020 and near zero till 2022. Also in the FOMC statement, they highlighted their plan to purchase $40 billion worth of mortgage-backed securities per month. This, of course, is particularly important for our business. And as you can guess, this news is, 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 is really positive in a sense that there's now an official language that clearly states the Fed's unending support to keep the financial markets running smoothly. So back to our business of U.S. mortgages. For those of you that, that missed our first webinar, we clarified a common misunderstanding that mortgage rates, although related to the Fed fund rate, was not necessarily correlated, which is what we saw when the pandemic first started. That is to say, rates actually rose. You see, what makes the U.S. mortgage market so unique is that all loans are sold on the secondary market in the form of large pools of debt or mortgage-backed securities. This affected the foreign national mortgage market uh, more than others, specifically because the Fed's initial and current policy response is to purchase MBSs on U.S. citizen mortgages, or as we call them in the industry, Fannie Mae loans. When the pandemic first started, the secondary market activity for foreign national loans, along with pretty much every other industry, stopped, and mortgage banks had nowhere to sell these loans. Rates rose, and shortly after, the market shut completely. Our team speaks to lenders in the U.S. every day, and the expectation all along from the largest lenders in the U.S. was for the market to slowly open up starting June and July. But as we've seen over the past few months, everything is rebounding and recovering much faster than expected. So we're super optimistic that things will be back to normal very soon. Now remember, this is only specifically for foreign nationals. Our US expat business has never been busier with most of the activity focused on refinancing existing loans, taking, adv taking advantage of the lowest mortgage rates in history. So with that said, once the market opens back up for foreign nationals, we hope the tra trajectory of these rates are consistent with the overall market. So now for the good news. We've been working tirelessly with one of our lenders to create a loan program specifically for GMG and their clients. And we're proud to say that it's now available. The program is what we call a full documentation program. So we will require you to have financials to support the loan. We will also require a U.S. credit score of at least 700. And the loan is capped at 50% loan to value. And it's only available in certain states. The rates for these, though, starts at an incredible low 4% range. Now, if this is something that fits your situation, please contact us after the call. Now, the point of mentioning all of this is that it's starting. It's starting to open up. For those of you that have followed us over the past few years, you will know that for foreign nationals, most of our programs require no U.S. credit. And some of our most popular programs don't even require any income verification at all. And we were able to fund these loans in under 45 days. This is compared to four to six months for international banks. We fully expect to be able to offer these loans and many more very soon. So now for a short discussion on the process involved. 
What makes GMG so unique is that we are in your time zone and speak your language since we have offices across the world. However, the most important aspect of our business is that we process our own loans while most, if not all banks, outsource this crucial function. This enables us to streamline the process and eliminate unnecessary steps and hence able to close and fund loans quicker with a more pleasant customer journey. No more waking up at 3 a.m. to speak to a call center who knows nothing about you or your loan or takes two weeks to reply and understand why Hong Kong has no postal code. So the first step in the overall process is to have a call with one of our loan officers so we can understand your requirements. We then ask you to complete a standard loan application form called the 1003. Once we submit and get your loan approved by our lenders that you choose, we, ask, we then ask for the required documentation while we order title information on your home. Now, depending on the type of program uh, that you choose, the documentation requir required will be passport copy, address proof, pay stubs, a bank reference letter, or an international credit report. If the loan requires financials, we'll ask for two years of tax returns. If they're in a foreign language, we'll ask for a translation. If you're self-employed, we'll ask to have your local accountant verify this with a letter. And to make your life easier, we've even worked with our lenders to allow for a power of attorney to sign the closing documents on your behalf in the States. This typically is a trusted advisor, family member, or a friend. Now, once the documentation is submitted, we normally take 30 to 45 days to complete. So in summary, GMG offers a service that banks can't. They only offer their own programs, while we have hundreds to choose from. We close over 97% of our loans, whereas banks may not even close 50% with many being denied at the very last stage after months of late nights and hard work. We really hope we've helped you today with understanding how the, the process works. And our team looks forward to helping you with your, with your future mortgage requirements in the US. Thank you. You can now ask any questions that you may have for Don Mood. Okay, the first question is, is the full doc loan available to foreign nationals? And how do foreign nationals confirm a credit score of over 700? Okay, that's a good answer. I'm gonna answer live. Oops. Um, so the answer is actually all of the programs we talked about today are specifically for foreign nationals. Um, you know, in order to confirm your credit score, once you submit the, the loan application, we will submit it to get your credit score. But generally, during our first conversation with you, we'll ask, like, do you have any idea what your credit is? Uh, and we'd get your permission to run that. Um, typically, as mentioned earlier, that most of our loan programs, we try to offer that don't require any US credit. So, so the question is, at the moment, you don't have any programs for non for non US resident foreign investors. Uh, no, that's actually not true. Um, we have one, maybe two. Uh, the one I mentioned was the one earlier. That's a U.S. That's a foreign national that may have U.S. credit. This is fairly common. Um, you know, you could have gone to school in the U.S., had a credit score. Maybe it's, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's been inactive, but the score is quite high. So these are things that we can explore with you, um, you know, after our first conversation. We have a, a question about the minimum loan amount. Um, you know, we, our minimum loan amount tends to be with certain lenders uh, between 100 and 200,000. So if you assume 100,000 at 70% loan to value, assuming that the market opens up again, then that equates to a, a home value of say 150,000.
Dipti, am I? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. There are a couple okay. more questions on Q and A, and a couple more on the chat. Okay. Okay, a question about uh, taxation on the dwelling. So, you know, we try not to get too involved with the tax tax questions just because, you know, we're not accountants. Um, we have, you know, some ideas and obviously we do a lot of loans. Uh, what we do do is refer, um, you know, refer our customers to, to accountants that we've worked with. Um, and I think, you know, if you want to speak to us over the phone, we're happy to kind of explain this. Um, can I purchase multiple homes, duplexes on a single loan? For instance, for existence, a seller is selling properties as a package. Unfortunately, um, well, uh, yes, you can, but it again, it depends on individual lenders. Uh, previously, um, it would be limited to, I believe, four units uh, per, per loan, um, but it really depends on the appetite of the, of the lender. But generally, it's not an issue. Does your loan programs apply to commercial properties? Yes, uh, we can do uh, commercial loans. Uh, what U.S. states do you favor for lending? Um, a, well, we, we, we offer loan programs in all 50 states. Um, it's no surprise our most active markets are, are California, Texas, Florida, uh, we've been, you know, New York, we've been doing a lot of Atlanta and Washington. Those typically account for a significant portion of our, um, of our mortgages. Um, but generally, if a lender is offering loans in those states, they will be all the same rate. It won't be, you know, one state would be cheaper than another state. How much cash reserves do you need as a foreign national? Well, actually, um, you know, most of our loans don't require cash, cash reserves. Um, you know, it really depends on the type of loan we put you in, but typically we try to avoid uh, these type of loans um, in general. But I think uh, for the person who asked that question, this is uh, something that we can talk about, um, you know, because the most important thing is to identify your loan requirements and then we suggest uh, the, 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 the appropriate lender program for you. But the, the short answer is most of them won't require, but in some will, will require, depending on your, your situation. Can I get a loan for a property bought in Miami? Absolutely. Uh, what happens when you buy it in an LLC? There are lenders that will lend to a LLC um, uh, or corporate vehicle. Most of the residential lenders will, will require, uh, will be lending to an individual. Um, and once that's done, it's fairly common for the individual to put that property into a corporate vehicle, such as a trust or LLC. But there are lenders that will lend uh, to an LLC. And this is something that we have to discuss again on a, on a call. Um, but Miami is a great place and we do tons of loans there. At the moment, the most is 50% LTV. Unfortunately for um, this particular loan program, I mentioned yes. Uh, we're probably one or two weeks away from introducing maybe a higher LTV uh, a program. But once the market opens up in its entirety, um, we will be able to offer loans 70 to 75% uh, loan to value, for example. Now, if we refinance uh, or once the market opens, yeah, so that's a, that's a good question. So in fact, um, you know, we're in the process of closing a few loans today where, where, um, where we use short-term financing to get you into the program first. And then once the market opens up, we refinance that with a lower, uh, uh, lower price loan. Um, I have a credit score of 770. That's amazing. Um, 
can I get a fixed rate mortgage uh, of 4%? I have a few houses in the US free of mortgages. Um, certainly um, that fits our, um, you know, for this particular loan program. I'm not sure if it's exactly at four, it might be a little bit over four, but definitely we can, we can have this conversation um, after this call. Um, it seems as though you fit the criteria for this specific loan program. What's the max LTV and is there a max loan amount? Um, that's a really good question. So I would say, you know, pre, pre uh, COVID-19, uh, we were doing, this, our most popular program was 70% loan to value. We did have a 75%, so of course the rate was a little higher to, to, to accommodate for the higher risk. Um, in terms of maximum loan amounts, um, it's been tough the last few months because uh, lenders have avoided large size loans to be able to sell on the secondary market, even for US citizens. Pre-COVID-19, uh, the lender appetite would be anywhere between two and five million loan amount. So, which is quite high. I mean, you know, 50% LTV on a $2 million loan is still a $4 million home. So uh, generally speaking, we can accommodate. Um, for larger, you know, you know uh, super size mortgages like, you know, $50 million, you know, homes in New York or, or, or 100, you know, we're working on a $100 million home uh, in Hamptons right now. Uh, those require uh, specific types of financing arrangements and we're happy to, to, to talk to you about those, um, you know, after this call. Uh, what type of entity are these lenders? Are these hard money loans? Uh, they're not, you know, these are wholesale lenders. Um, so what many people don't know is that um, banks, and when I say banks, I'm talking about Wells Fargo, Bank of America, uh, Chase. Those are not the primary mortgage lenders in the U.S. Wholesale mortgage lenders uh, are the primary uh, lenders. And these are lenders who are, are financial institutions, but they don't offer uh, checking or savings deposits. All they do are in the business of mortgage lending at a wholesale basis. So a lot of times they're the ones supplying the mortgage liquidity for many banks, for example. We work specifically with these uh, wholesale mortgage lenders. Now, for bridge loans, we use you know, we used uh, we use these type of you know, perhaps hard money lenders. These are these are investors who want one year loans or two year loans, and and are happy to pay a slightly higher price. However, I would say that with anything supply and demand related, hard money loans of the past six months have been so popular that the rates have come down dramatically to where you know where normal mortgages were a few years ago. So you know we we've been happy to see that as well. Um, What's the loan to value for a multifamily 16 units? Okay, so that, you know, that, these type of multi-unit loans are not your normal, um, you know, loan that you could sell on the secondary market because these are packaged as a kind of a more bespoke financing package. Um, uh, and this is something we can help. Um, you know, I would say that right now in this environment, uh, the lending options are a little tight. But even, you know, an hour before this call, we were on the phone with lenders and they were talking about looking optimistic and constructive towards where the market was going in the near term. Um, another question uh, regarding the debt coverage ratio required on a multifamily. Again, you know, we, this is, um, you know, this is a kind of a big question. Uh, you know, we have to look at the state, the you know the year built um you know details about the actual um loan um but depending on a lender um it's usually 80 percent uh, on average uh, i would say uh, but this is something we should speak over the phone uh, to get a better understanding of you know kind of what what your requirements are do you provide loans for land purchases and construction uh, financing um, Wow, so it, it looks as though clients today have some uh, big plans for the U.S. Um, land purchases are, are more difficult. Um, you know, the short answer is we can do all of that. Uh, normally, we can do construction to permanent, uh, but these are really bespoke financing agreements. These are not something where a lender gives it to you and we recy they recycle on the mortgage market. These aren't the normal, 
you know, five hundred thousand dollar loan in Florida. These are these are bespoke financing uh, arrangements, which is something that we specialize in. But again, it requires maybe a better understanding of what what you're trying to, um, you know, what your goal is. You know, I just remember we're in the process of working together, working with a lender and client overseas for this particular purchase. So he's they've purchased some land. Uh, but unable to get bank financing to build. So we've arranged bespoke financing for him to actually get the, get, get the building off the ground and he'll have more credibility to get a, a bank loan. So this is stuff that we can do. What is the average rates we could get? Um, this is, um, you know, this is obviously a big question. Um, you know, I don't know, nobody knows. Uh, I would say, you know, uh, you know, we hope that once the market opens back up and the, the 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 markets are operating properly that we could get the trajectory or direction of those rates would be going down but um you know as i mentioned earlier you know for that full documentation loan getting a foreign national loan at low four percent is is incredibly good um you know i'm you know we prefer not to talk about rates at this juncture till we get a better sense of, of where things settle. When will uh, foreign national restrictions be lifted post COVID? Uh, well, that's a really good question. Um, you know, nobody knows, um, you know, this depends on, you know, how the, how the secondary market, um, you know, uh, operates. Um, right now it's, it, it, it's not operating and it hasn't been operating properly, but, I suspect, as I mentioned uh, in my webinar, that we think things will open back up sooner than people expected. I think, generally speaking, things have, you know, the stock market has rebounded faster than anybody expected. Creating a vaccine that usually takes five to 10 years is now potentially being created, you know, in under a year. So I think everything is kind of getting back to normal really quickly. So, you know, for the, um, you know, for the, for, the, for the client that's reaching out to me right now, We'd love to have a chat over the phone, uh, uh, you, know, you know, after the call. Uh, what is the maximum loan amount, max LTV, uh, and do you apply PMI? We don't, know, we don't usually apply PMI. Uh, minimum loan amount we discussed earlier, uh, you know, generally depending on, well, let's say, let's just say pre-COVID-19, certain lenders would go as low as a hundred thousand loan amount so if you apply 70 percent loan to value that would be about a hundred and fifty thousand dollar home value now what is the uh the appetite post covid we don't know could be lower could be higher um but you know i think a hundred thousand 150 thousand is kind of a good you know benchmark you know once you take into account closing fees and you know, you know, fees that are, 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 are charged on the transaction by, you know, third parties, um, you know, it could be quite expensive. Why only 50%? In the U.S., we can get much higher LTV. Yeah, we can. Um, you know, um, you know, you cannot get uh, a 70% LTV in the U.S. Uh, at the moment. Uh, the market is just pretty much shut. Um, we know this because we're the only ones, you know, you know, outside the U.S. that has direct lending relationships, now probably just under 300 lenders in the U.S. and over 500 lenders globally. I think uh, for 50% for loan to value is this specific loan program. Um, you know, what many people don't know, and we hear this literally every day, is they engage a lender, typically, um, you know, maybe an international bank, and they go through this process, and, it's, and three months down the road, they it's not doable um so you know things that we talk about are things that are achievable doable and that's why we we close and fund almost 100 percent of our loans do you work with investors uh all over the world or just specific uh states um okay so in the u.s our lenders uh are are based in the u.s what are what we do and what our specialty is is connect with onshore lenders to, to work with them to provide foreign national uh, loan programs. So for example, in Australia, we work with three or four lenders. In the UK, we have, like I said, you know, several hundred, uh, UK and Europe, sorry. 
Um, you know, in Singapore, we have relationships with banks. Uh, we also offer short term bridge financing all over the world. Um, you know, we're just funding on a hundred million euro uh, development loan uh, in, 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 a, in Europe uh, because banks can't lend. Banks are undercapitalized globally. Um, and, you know, they're reluctant to, to kind of, you know, do this type of lending globally. I have uh, bought a property pre-construction and expected to be ready in 2023. How early can I apply for the loan? Um, six months, I would say. I think it's uh, w way too early to have the conversation now. Uh, you know, I'd be interested to have a chat to see where you're buying. Maybe it's you know something where you know as a group we're quite we're quite uh, optimistic on U.S. property. Uh, but I would say you know let's have a conversation now. Get an idea of of what you know, what their requirements are. Uh, six months before completion, let's have a chat and we can get the documentation uh, in order. Can you recommend a lawyer, um, you know, accountants, et cetera, uh, specializing uh, in Florida? Um, well, you caught me off guard. I need to double check. I can't really, um, you know, think of one, you know, off the top of my head, but you know, to the extent that we have these third party providers, we're obviously happy to, to introduce you. Okay, for a multifamily commercial, um, how long is the diligence process and do you recommend purchase on a, uh, recommend a purchase agreement? Yeah, I mean, I think this is all, it sounds as though this particular client, um, you know, is, uh, is rather sophisticated. Uh, and has uh, pretty large plans uh, in Florida. Um, so, uh, listen, I would say this, this, this is a phone, phone conversation. Um, the due diligence process, it really depends on a, a whole host of factors that are probably not convenient to, um, to, to answer over the call. Um, but, um, you know, it really depends. Uh, I would say give, it a, give the whole process a couple months is, is, is fair. Is there any estimate of when the market will fully open up? Um, you know, you know, our our guess is is just as good as anybody. We have a little more information than most because we speak to lenders, the largest lenders in the U.S. Literally every night, we have a we have a team in the U.S. that that speaks to them uh, every night. Um, you know, before before last night, before the Fed announcement, the thinking was June, July. And we're already seeing it open up a little bit uh, with one or two lenders. Um, so the person who wrote that question, I would say, um, why don't you reach out to us, uh, um, you know, maybe in a week or two, let's see how the market digests the, the Fed uh, uh, announcement last night. Uh, but I, I expect uh, this to open up really quickly. Okay, uh, this is somebody from, it looks as though it's somebody from Japan. has got an incredible um, uh, credit score. Um, he lives in Japan. Um, he wants to get um, a house in the US and he wants to buy it together uh, with his brother. Uh, yeah, that's simple. You guys can be, both of you can be uh, uh, on title together. Um, you know, I would, I would, I would be hesitant to say that you could get 75% right now, but you know, once things open up, that's something we can definitely uh, explore. Um, and please, you know, this is kind of the stuff we do. So please um, email us after this and we'd love to kind of chat, uh, but this is kind of the stuff, this is exactly the kind of stuff we do. Minimum loan amount, I uh, answered this before, um, you know, depending on the lender, uh, pre-COVID it was about 100,000 loan amount. I would suspect it's kind of the same, um, you know, once this is, once this opens, ba opens back up, uh, but bear, bear in mind, there are a lot of costs that you have to incur, you know, escrow, title, uh, underwriting, processing. So the cost can get up if the loan amount is small. And I would also say, this is a personal opinion that, you know, the cheaper, the lower value, the, the, the lower the value of the home, the harder it may be to rent out or you could have renter problems. You know, we've seen so many times when we go in for an appraisal that, you know, the renter of these homes won't even let the appraiser in. So something we can talk about uh, over the phone. Can you provide pre-approval doc uh, 
absolutely. Uh, this is, um, you know, this is something that we can do fairly easily, but we would require a, a conversation with you to better understand you and your situation. What are our fees? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, it really depends on, you, you know, we, we can build the fee uh, into the rate. We typically charge uh, market practice in the U.S., which is between one and two, depending on, you know, the size, size of the loan. What is, oops, what is the return amount for a, um, a hundred thousand fixed rate, fixed rate of 4%? Uh, I'm not quite sure what the question is. Um, so I'm going to defer that, but I have the name of the client. So we'll reply on email. Uh, can we get interest only loans? Absolutely. Um, this is, this is something that in fact, you know, pre COVID, this is pretty much most all clients, almost all clients were choosing interest only loans, depending on the lenders that the, each lender, there could be an additional cost to the rate. Uh, but this is something we can discuss with you. Ah, here's our friend again. Um, the, um, again, this, you know, this really depends on the lender. Um, you know, um, most, most U S residential loans are, are, you know, are recourse. So we, 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 this is something we should, we should speak o over the phone because these large multifamily commercial type loans are really bespoke. Um, um, these are all re recourse loans uh, for multifamily. Um, so the, 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 the client that's uh, asking these questions, um, I think it's probably better that we speak over the phone. I mean, the, the, the questions are, fairly detailed um, and you know it's probably better for all of us to really have an in-depth conversation on how we can best address um, you know your questions uh, what's your view on prime area luxury property in LA well uh, that's a good question because <laughs> we're looking as well uh, but there's you know I mean we you know as a policy we try not to give uh, any type of advice on things that are not mortgage related. So direction of property prices, taxes, structuring, um, you know, we'd be happy to share our personal view over a call, but it's not something, you know, it's out of our kind of purview of expertise. Although in LA, we work with some incredible real estate agents. So happy to introduce you. Um, all right, it says, do you offer foreign national mortgages to all countries in Asia? Yeah, we do. In fact, you know, as you know, as I mentioned, we have offices all over Asia. You know, we have clients from Indonesia, from the Philippines, from Korea, Taiwan. Um, and that, that's what makes us special. You know, we, you know, we have a large team that speaks the language of each, each of these countries. We're in the time zone here. Um, and we know the, the subtleties of each market. You know, like I said on the call, you know, Hong Kong doesn't have a zip code, but, you know, a bank in the U.S. won't be able to understand that. You know, so we so we because we create these loan programs specifically uh, for our clients and we're able to do this because we give these lenders so much business um, so we can dictate how these loan programs are created. So I think I'm going to wrap this up. Um, these have been some great, um, great questions. And, and I think until next time, uh, let's get the, the, keep the dialogue going. If you have any questions, please email us. It's really exciting times ahead. I think, um, you know, what happened overnight with the Fed's announcement has given us a lot of optimism on the direction of the recovery. And uh, we look forward to helping you for your per future um, mortgage requirements. Dipti, can I, can I end this? Uh, Donald, there are a couple of questions on uh, chat. You can just have a look and then uh, we can end this. Uh, okay. I, um, I can't see the chat. Um, so all those... Oh, there, oh, the oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, I see. Okay, I an answered that one. Um, how do you get in? How do you get an international credit if your credit score is six seventy three points, even if you have a hundred percent payment with no issue? Uh, 
Uh, I'm not quite sure of that question. Um, you know, in terms of international credit score, um, you know, depending on each country, China, Hong Kong, Singapore, they, they all have their own local credit scores. Um, happy to discuss and, and, and give you advice on how to obtain those. How do you, how secure are your investment loans? I'm not quite sure of the question. Uh, everything we do is through, um, you know, wholesale lenders in the banks. And these are, these wholesale lenders are actually even bigger than banks in the mortgage, you know, in terms of mortgages they underwrite. So, you know, we act as a mortgage broker and our goal is to, you know, find the best loan option available from our networks of network of lenders. Um, are Caribbean based closings uh, available? Yeah, I mean, you know, to the extent that there's a U.S. embassy or you can use a, you can, um, you know, use a power of attorney to sign. It's not a problem at all. Thank you. That was awesome. Um, I look forward to seeing everybody soon. And uh, for those of you uh, who, who, who gave us, submitted those amazing questions, we'd love to speak to you over the phone. A lot of those, you know, you can't really answer on a webinar. It doesn't give the, give the question the type of respect and thoroughness it, it requires. Um, so happy to answer anything uh, uh, in the future.